All right, Label Sean James of the Independence Patriots. Sean, uh, first of all, I mean, it's, just describe what it was like to get ready for this game. You've got a couple kids, and, and Chad Williams addressed it too. You got a couple kids that came over from Liberty, so there were a little, there was some emotion coming into this game. Yeah, I, but I'll be honest with you, I never addressed it until before the game. Uh, so I tried to keep things as normal as normal could possibly be. It was a rivalry anyway. Yeah, and it, it, it is rival. Uh, and so I tried to keep everything as normal as I possibly could, could keep it uh, throughout the week before. You know, of course, we played Monday. We played Shady. And then we went to Summers County last night. Then we played them uh, here tonight. So I tried to keep everything as normal as I possibly could. I addressed it a little bit before the game and, and just tried to tell them, you know, we need, you know, no talking, you know. And, of course, I know kids and talk kind of happens sometimes, but but uh, just wanted to let their play do their talking for them. And, and I think they did that and held their composure. And I think both sides did. I think they did too. Well, when push came to shove, and as far as the game, you guys made some plays when you needed to. Um, a couple of steals that were key right. there in the fourth quarter. And you you made your free throws too. I mean, which, yeah, we did. which in yeah. this game was big. Yeah. Uh, you know, again, I, I was trying to keep them off balance. You know, we played we – played, a little bit of everything, you know. We, we might play a little bit of zone. We might press you. We might play half court trap, and then we might play some man to man. And so we come out and went went man to man at there at halftime, and just tried to throw them off balance. And, and I think when we went back to our half court trap, I think that kind of threw them off a little bit. We was able to get a, a couple easy steals and a couple easier buckets to to extend the lead there. And so, you know, we were just trying to. Uh, Mix it up a little bit and, and and try to keep them off guard and off balance and, and maybe uh, get a couple steals and get easier buckets. Yeah. You had the game 11 twice, once in the first yep. half and then once in the third quarter, but you never could yeah. put that knockout blow on them. What's yeah. the problem? And, I, and I, I do think it's, you know, we played three straight games. You know, you know legs start to get a little weaker, you know. Uh, uh, you know, you start to get a little bit tired, and of course, momentum and adrenaline get you through those things. But, but you know, you do you do physically get tired. I know I'm physically tired coaching three straight games. So, so I know they're physically tired as well, and it, and it, and, it, and a little bit of mentally. You know, you're 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 just always in that pressure moment. You know, so you know, I, I think that had a little bit to do with it. Uh, but but I liked how they finished the game. You know, we made our foul shots there at the end, and that was big. And and you know, where we have struggled at the foul foul line a little bit this year, you know, so, but we also had our, we, you know, we got the ball into Ashton Arthur's hands and, you know, he's our, he's probably our best free throw shooter. Yeah. So uh, we was trying to make sure Ashton had to hold the ball. And so that when they went to foul, they were fouling him. You guys kind of struggled a little bit from the three point line tonight. Really kind of yeah. couldn't quite get your normal routine. Yeah. I mean, I mean we scored, we scored 70 points against Shady and then turned around last night, scored 47, yeah. you know, and then uh, tonight, 61, 62, 62 all right, yeah, but most, but yeah, we, 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 you know, I think that's just us. So we, you know, when we're on, we're on, and when we're <laughs> off, we're off. You know, we was talking last night, and and uh, I said, you know, as much as that three point line is so much fun when you're hitting those shots, right. I said, man, they will absolutely shoot you out of one. You know, right. and we've and we've done that this year. You know, we we've went into some games and scored eighty three points. I believe right. was our highest score this year. But then we've turned right around and, you know, not been able to get almost 40 points, struggle to get 40. So, you know, it's a good thing and it's a bad thing. But, you know, that's just us. And we're a little inconsistent, and you know, at that. But we're also young. I mean, again, we're starting two sophomores and a freshman, you know. And uh, so, you know, when you got two sophomores and a freshman playing a lot of minutes, you know, you, you kind of expect things to happen like where that sometimes. Where are you in terms of where you want – you told me, I think, at the beginning of the season there was a number you wanted to reach uh, winning-wise. Where are you yeah. at, 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 has that changed or well, – I want to you... win every game. Okay. <laughs> well, 20, so, 22 so, wasn't the number that you said. <laughs> I want to win all of them. But, uh, you know – uh, you know, I do. I, you know, I, I think if we, you know, we're at six now, so we're six and nine. You know, we wasn't we wasn't like this last year. It feels a little bit differently than last year. Uh, we got at the end, we got hot last year and then run all four or five games. You know, where this year it's been, you know, a little bit more in between. We've been a little bit more balanced and and competing so a little bit better. Yeah, and competing a little bit better. So you know, I'm definitely happy where where we're at and and where. What direction we're going, and and so uh, I, you know uh, we got 
really good middle school team coming over here next year that I'm excited about as well. You know, I told them oh, earlier, I said, you know, uh, we got to work with what we got in this locker room right now. <laughs> you know, I mean, we got to focus on us. Well, you, know? you know, when they and, do get her, you've got two guys that have played roughly two full seasons uh, yeah. to go along. Sure. But, the learning curve. You got another kid yeah, who's played and, a full season by right. the time that and, it, and it's going to be another learning curve. You know, next year it's probably going to be another learning curve, and we're hoping maybe that following year, where where we've got that experience a little bit under our belt, that uh, that we you know that we're going to be able to compete and take this a little bit further on up the line. And maybe that bit. what you didn't have yet in your in your two years of experience. Sure, you haven't had we it. Ha yeah, we haven't. You know, and, and of course, I mean. Man, Ashton and, and Silas has is, is, is been playing, you know, huge for us. I mean, I mean they have. But, you know, taking nothing away from, you know, Ethan and Dalton. I mean, Dalton has battled underneath the, the rim and rebounded for us this year. And, and what he has done has just really been really surprising to me. You know, and Ethan, you know, he's been a great leader and a great kid. And, you know, he comes in here, he gets hot, you know, he can shoot it too. So we – and, you know, Logan Mink can shoot it. So we got – Three or four shooters that that mm -hmm. when we're when we are on, we you know it can be dangerous, you know, because because we could all four of them can shoot the three. So, I mean, but you know, Deegan Williams, you know, he's he's a freshman, and, and you know he's getting, I mean, I'm starting him right now, you know, and he's getting huge minutes. And Reed Warden is another one, you know, he, that hasn't played a lot, and you know he's a junior, so he'll be back next year. And so, I mean, he's getting big minutes. He's had good – he had a great game over at Pikeview, and, and he's come in and rebounded and give Dalton breaks and, and, and really stepped up his game. So we have definitely got better as we've went, and we just got to continue to try to get better, you know, it, you know every year you know, until we get that experience underneath our belt to where we can push this up to another level. All right. Hey, Sean, appreciate it, man. All right.